Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. started now the kicker Chris Boswell and off we go in Madden Ultimate Team to return it here's Reggie Bush and he'll be stopped up at the 25 Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Bush. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big pickup of 38. I thought he did a nice job there of reading the coverage and realizing he didn't have anything downfield. So what quarterback doesn't love having a running back who's a terrific safety valve that he can dump the ball off to and turn it into a big hitter anyway? So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Got some real estate inside the 30. And finally, marked down at the 23. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. Nice methodical opening drive here. They're already in the field goal range. They're in a good spot. You know that people like to take a shot in this part of the field. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second and goal from inside the five. They stay on the ground. This time it's Kamara. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Rodgers now on third and goal. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And on their 
first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Tano Passigno credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Another try after the first down sack. Allen airing this one out for Evans. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. throw Desmond Trufant with a sack the corner blitz hits home now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves but they're they're on pace for double digit sacks at this point but well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down aren't they so if you're the play caller you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens maybe some draws hard count use your voice inflection a little bit anything to try and slow that pressure down comes the Cowboys punter and no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone and he's able to get it out quickly and this is not a bad kick here he'll take it at the 42 a 47 yard punt maybe a couple on the return and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10 Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time, they had it fourth and goal. Rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. A hey, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's got this down to the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They give to Bush going right, and he'll be taken down at the 34. 
The Hall of Famer Jack Youngblood there on the stop. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, touchdown, New Orleans! Kyle Pitts, 34 yards, as his guys are first on the scoreboard here this afternoon. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and ten. Throwing now is Allen. This is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Got the defense on their heels. Two first downs in a row and now a pickup of eight. To throw again on second down. Allen, that's caught by Waller out left side. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. And again, it's Allen. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. He's letting this one go for Fuller. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams, and he is all the way up past the 25. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with a little under a minute to go, still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so. And Rodgers is going to go down. He sacked. Lorenzo Carter. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. Throwing left side, it's complete. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime.
Rodgers now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. To throw once more on second and ten. Rodgers, and that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Rodgers again now. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Graham. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Rodgers now on first down. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Reggie Bush was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before half for Rodgers. And Graham's got it over the middle. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 31-yard line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for him because... It... And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? the first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Allen. He'll get this to Elliott. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Allen. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Allen to throw once more. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counterparts. Throwing is Allen on third. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. From the gun, it's Allen. And he fires one that's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive in the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. They'll run on first down. Bush, and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. On second down now. It's Bush, and he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Try and run for the first with Bush. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break in the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. 
Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Bush on third down. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? The clock's going to go. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara taking it in from a yard out. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we were talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. Throwing is Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and it's third and four. Here's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Allen, got to have this one. Allen hit, he lost the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Rodgers looking to throw. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Divine Diablo. Two-score game here in the fourth. And that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does. And you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer? Under pressure, they got him again. To back sacks have this place in a frenzy as they line up again third and long now. Allen. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Jamal Adams, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
taken at about the one. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Evans once again the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. taken down here by the Saints. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. So they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, Guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it for Charles Davis, the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. This has been a presentation of Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.
and now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. started now the kicker Chris Boswell and off we go from Nashville and they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up past the 40 yard line Shotgun again to Elliott. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Young now. A dump off to Elliott. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. A first down carry by Elliott. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Young. And that's Elliott complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, it should open up his running game, too. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 31 yards. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. So defensively, third down, you're thinking get the stop, maybe force the field goal try. Instead, he's able to shake free and not just get the first down, but get the touchdown as well. Yeah, so much for the best laid plans, right? And you knew once he got past the line of scrimmage, he was gone. Got that head of steam behind him. Room off to the races. The only surprise would have been if anyone caught him. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, and this ball is tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And they are going to set up shot at the 32-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Following the interception, Young. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Only needing two yards on second down. Elliott, toss right. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it. This is huge check. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. First down, Young. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On second down, Elliott. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. generous one he looks to be about a yard or so short he's just short he got six of the seven he needed so that leaves a decision here on fourth and a yard they'll run with a fullback use check and he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. That throw by Young incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. It's Young off play action. Sliding out of the pocket. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. And he went 
on the move there and started rolling out. I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So after the INT, it's Allen. They had the interception. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. DeForest Buckner forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. After the sack on first down, Allen, he's letting this one go for Fuller. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogant. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And Trell roll with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Now gold for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Pressure comes, and the Titans are going to bring him down. Montez Sweat just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Allen from the gun on third down. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And Trell roll with a pick. So that right there was his second pick, but keep in mind, this is a guy who once had a rare three-interception game in his career. So what are you saying, that getting two in a game that's like kid stuff for him? That's nothing. He's already Amateur done that, hour. right? Been there, done that. You know he wants a third again. First down, Elliott. And 
had some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Here's second and nine. On play action, Young. They're going deep for Hill. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 41 yards. And the Titans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21 to nothing leads come and go in this league, but this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with a three-score deficit staring him in the face, they might have to press the issue here and try to get points out of this drive. It's complete to Fuller. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second down at four. Now Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home. And they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync. Only way to play good defense. That one complete, Elliott. No, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. to throw it's Allen throw left side complete that's Elliott and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him a final shot before half for Allen this is caught and he can't quite get there tackled down at the one that's it for the first half two more quarters to go we'll have plenty more to see after the break all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. This taken in at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. 
They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Second 10 coming up here in Nashville. Third quarter action. Allen. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. To Evans on the slant. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That was good, tough running right up the middle, and if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Now Allen. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 10 more there and another first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Second and nine. Allen. His throw incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. to the air, Allen. Over the middle complete, it's Elliott. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Montez Sweat. Picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Allen now looks to throw. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offense is called four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Now a first down throw for Young. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. Seven yards to pick up there. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Dave's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Working with a second and three. Young. Open man is Kyle Pitts, his tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. First and ten, Young. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they were going for the big strike right there, but this just terrific coverage by the defense in the end zone. And what helps being a safety in this spot is the back line of the end zone. Defensive back coaches always preach that's an extra defender because you know that they can only run so far. They can't run past you out of the back of the end zone. Then you know you can't be beat over the top and gives you a chance to go make a play. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. The interception was a good starting point, but still a huge hill to climb with his three score. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. Second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Allen. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 35. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense got crowded the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31. Defensively, they rally quickly after the broken tackle. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair.
So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Throwing. Young. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. 56 at the mic. Coming to you, coming to you. 56 the mic, boys. 56. Check. Here is Young. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And he's got this down to the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Allen going to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Evans. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back -back first down pickups. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Throwing now is Allen. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. And a terrific return there. They're finally able to corral him down near the 11-yard line. So many times we end the game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final <laughs> act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. 
So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. No, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.
We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. First and ten, it's Jackson. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Second catch. today and it'll wind up a first down. A gain of nine yards. First down Raiders. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Jackson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Here's second and ten. Jackson now. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Meeting the 
the tough yards. They run it with their fullback. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. The all-pro in two positions. Khalil Mack there to make the stop. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it. Most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. On play action, Allen. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Now that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Now a first and 10 at the 11. the counter Elliot and they go the wrong way on this one losing yardage back at the 12 officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 we're scoreless after one start of the second quarter and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it second down and 11 Here's Allen. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Divine Diablo. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Second straight drive now here, Charles, that have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one, or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Throw right side. Going to be caught by Waller. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, it's Allen. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back 
at the 26-yard line. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Snap comes at one, and it's Allen. This is caught by Evans. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. Now Elliott. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. When we talk about being on schedule, I think they're on schedule after that run, getting it right down there on the doorstep. Maybe even a little bit ahead because now the defense can't dictate with pressure. They're guessing about where you're going to go. I might come right back at them with the same play, the same set, and see if they can stop them. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. set to get this drive started. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. It's a gain of five on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Flush to his right. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Play action. Now Jackson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson, he's got his receiver, Cooper. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And Lambeau will put 
this one through. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Taken at the goal line. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Here's Allen to throw it. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The delay of game backs him up five first and 15. Jackson. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. To throw is Jackson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Third down, Jackson. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 16. There he goes, left side. The 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Short throw pick six right there, those linebackers. They love when those short throws come and those eyes get real wide, don't they? How about the anticipation on the play? Reading, reacting, and then the ability to catch the football and take it in the opposite direction. Boswell for the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So they 
throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. Now a throw here, hold in. Five yards, now it's third and five. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now Jackson. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jamal Adams. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Extra point now by Boswell. And it's 21 to 3. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Offense set to get this drive started. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate Frank? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. You had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Jackson. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Offensives are playing an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. 
Now Jackson on first down. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Jamal Adams coming up from his safety spot to make the play. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. Now it's Jackson. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Jackson. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he takes his down to about the two before going out of bounds. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the two now, second and goal. Jacobs is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Jacobs again. And Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get there. No. It appears they're going to mark him short of the first. Only a yard that time. So now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. They go with Jacobs. And this time he is in. Josh Jacobs punching it in from a yard away. And the Raiders are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they, if they do indeed try to throw the football. Yeah, and I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Elliott, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. 
And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner, and there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. actually going to throw it here. That's to Evans, and what a nice catch that is. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Boy, that completion comes with a high degree of difficulty, especially on the catch. Had to look that one in one-handed, able to do so, and ends up picking up a first down as well. Raiders call on a nickel set here for third down. Tenth carry now for Alley. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios to run someone into the ground. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes, and that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Boswell for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Taken in at the three. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And that might just submit it. A return for a late touchdown. But that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble. But when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well. And it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. 
Extra point put through by Boswell. And they open the lead up now to 25. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded just outside the goal line. Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game, and you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Young on first down, escaping the pressure right. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. An excellent gain, 35 yards. Now Young. 
Young. Evans has it left side. They'll contain him to just four, second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now a second down and six. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys 34. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Try and run for it with Elliott. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold him to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But well, this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting him to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, he rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Charles and I settled here in the booth. This should be a fun one. Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a look at some of the stars here of today's game. Let's get right to it. team. Cooper on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. Completes it right side to Cooper. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Here's Wilson to throw. Going deep here for Landry. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowl safety cam chancellor. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 route? Nine meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. So after the INT, it's Allen. Oh, Allen cannot get away, and down he goes. It may be cliche, but it is something that holds up over time, doesn't it? If you're the visitors, you don't want to let the crowd in the game early. Yeah, and that's exactly what they did there. But you said also this defense, they're going to give them a lot of looks like we just saw there, aren't they? They certainly are. They're a proud unit, and they're going to ride the momentum of this crowd with them. And that's why they got after them early. And they lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13 after that loss of a yard. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Here's Allen on first and 10. He's to the 10, to Evans on the slant. And he'll finally be taken down at the 2-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Boswell good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Cooper on the return. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game. The ball comes out. And the Cowboys have recovered. Well, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off.
Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. together again the Cowboys and Bills are underway Williams now on the return and he'll go down at the two yard line what a disaster there only able to get it to the two yard line on his return not going to make a lot of friends on your team when you only get it that far produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Well, not a gain that you're going to go crazy about, but when you start at your own two-yard line, any type of space is good for the offensive guys. Yeah, you just can't go backwards from here. They did it. Now we'll see if they can keep it on schedule here on second down. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Eluding the pressure right. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. On second and ten. Allen, a quick throw, going to be caught by Diggs. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Play action. Now it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Chance are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in his opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Touchdown, Bills! An 18-yard touchdown grab, and the Bills have taken the early lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Alert, alert, alert. 
Allen now on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again on second and ten. Allen, it's caught by Mike Evans. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. important to pick up that first down there and keep this one going. On first down, Allen. And this one is incomplete. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Right, right, right. He's to throw again on second down, Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. This is going to be the matchup to watch out on the perimeter, and it won't be the last time these two go at it. Both of them believe they are the superior. In this case, the win goes to the defense. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going to try and throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And that will force a turnover on downs. First down, Alexander. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. And defensive back Jamal Adams in on the stop. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they stop him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. After one, 7 0 on EA Sports. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. To the air, Allen. 
Flushed out right. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Dancing to his left. And he'll get nothing out of that one. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Allen going to throw. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And again, it's Allen. Cannot get away, and down he goes. Like a freight train off the edge, Calais Campbell with a sack. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Throwing now is Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. 
On this one, incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big, bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Now Allen. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Kosicki, and it's second down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Again, they'll throw with Allen. That's caught by Hollister. And down inside the 15, he goes. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. There's no doubt that he has plenty of heart, but you've got to be careful with those receivers that are slight of build. They leave themselves open to some pretty big hits across the middle. That pass, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen off the play fake. And he's got it. And the Bills are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. Taken at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Now it's second and nine. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 26 and a first down. Allen's throw is complete. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second and a yard. Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Extra point put through by Boswell. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. 
The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Williams to return. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Allen. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game. And they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. And he is finally out of bounds, but he gets all the way down right around the 20. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. comes in one, and it's Allen. And that's Elliott, complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. On the return, Williams. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And this drive will start on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. On first down, it's Elliott, and he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Tough day, 
tough sledding right there and has been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On play action, Allen. Throw left side complete. That's Evans. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Mike Evans from 19 yards away. And the Cowboys on just two plays have taken the lead. Boswell good with the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up. They'll get to that end zone real fast. To throw, it's Allen. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push. And what do they create? Space. And he takes off. Escaping the pressure right. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down. It's Alexander, and yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed, and now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Now Allen. There's Evans again, complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. The Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Three yards remain for second down. 
Here's Allen. He'll find his tight end. That's Warner. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 28. A gain there of 21 yards. Allen. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And they're going to get the timeout call. What a finish. We're down to four seconds to go in this football game. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Chris Boswell on for the field goal. A 33 yard attempt. And his kick here is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three.